Hey everyone, this is a Clossy, a digital wardrobe app that I'm building. And recently I added this modal feedback option, which is using React Native Modal and it's keyboard aware. It was very simple to build and it's using React Composition. I wanted to show you how I build this. Should be a quick tutorial. So let's see how that works. All right, let's get started. Uh, this is a base export project with app. Uh, TSX TypeScript project and we're using native wind to use Tailwind CSS styling. So I already have some stuff set up, um, a component folder. Let's go ahead and create the modal file in here, modal.txs. So let's const modal equals to it's going to be a functional component, of course return and we're going to return the react modal here but before we set that up let's import modal from react native but because we're using the same name we're going to import it as rn modal and we're also going to import the modal props um, to set up some nice props so let's set up some props here we're going to do modal props and we're going to have two extra props one would be is open to toggle all our open stuff and one is with input okay that would be an optional boolean so um set it up so it's props and we're gonna get is open we're gonna get with input and we're also gonna get children and we're gonna spread out the rest of the props that are available from your modal props perfect now inside we're gonna actually this is gonna be rn modal <clears throat> we're gonna set this up and technically should take children inside but we're gonna update that a bit in a in a bit the biggest one here should be visible which is going to be set to is open that we're getting back we're going to set it up to be transparent so we can actually set up an overlay uh, behind it give an animation type we're going to start off with fade but um we can, we'll be able to change it later as we need. And one more I like to do is transpar, status bar translucent, so it's under the status bar. And the rest would be rest to spread out the rest of the props, so we have access to all of them and we can overwrite them as needed. Now at this point, we're actually pretty much done. This is a composed modal, so we can put it anywhere and put any kind of content inside and that would just get rendered out. Uh, that's the beauty of composition. But we're going to update it a little bit. So um, we have two kind of views. One is with a keyboard and the other is without a keyboard. Now, what I like to do is, is just create a um, content variable here, which is going to pretty much just take the content. We're going to check if it's with input. If it is, then um, we're going to return one thing if not we can return the other so let's just do your keyboard avoiding view from react native and inside we're gonna pass in our children and if that's not the case then we're just gonna do a view oops that's not right and yeah same pass in the children inside now this is good, but did I make a mistake? Oh, that'll be const, my bad. So here we can just pass content instead, and that's gonna get rendered. Did I make a mistake somewhere? Let me take a real quick look. Oh, my bad. Um, this should actually go over here because they're supposed to be both return statements. So we can just move that over there. Or <coughs> my prettier fixed it that for me, but I'm gonna have to change this a little bit because I need to provide it with some styling over here. So let's go with the class name because I have native with set up. So I'm just gonna do item center justify center flex one i'm gonna give it a padding sideways padding of three but you can update it as needed i'll do a zinc background of 900 with 40 percent opacity 
I'm going to just copy that over um, for the view as well. Perfect. Um, well, Prettier is keeping auto fixing it for me. Don't mind that. But one more behavior we do want to actually adjust is um, the behavior for the keyboard. So if it's Android, if I'm not mistaken, it should be platform.os to iOS. Um, I wonder why that's. Mm, am I mistaking something here? Let me try this over here. <coughs> Padding, otherwise hide. Okay, that's perfect. My bad, guys. I wonder if Pretty is going to fix that for me. Okay, no. So basically, if the platform is iOS, we're going to use the padding behavior for pushing up the view. Otherwise, we're going to use height, which is for going to be for Android. So that's a pretty common um, system to use. But at this point, our model's done, and we can use it anywhere we want. Well, let's go set that up. So let's bring in our model from our source directory. And inside, we can put whatever um, stuff we want. Um, so let's do a text. It's going to say it's, uh, our modal. Actually, let's wrap this in a view so we can control. This is the full content that we're going to put out. Oops, sorry. I'm pressing all sorts of buttons right now. Oh, get up. Copilot is killing me. OK, <clears throat> view. This should have a text that says modal. It should also have a pressable. That's going to take it on press and going to have a close button. So this is going to take it on press. Now you can use touchable opacity, whatever you really want. Uh, let's set up a quick state to open and close this model. So it already kind of set it up for me, but we're going to do use state. Use state false. The state is already taken over, and we're going to do set state, sorry, set modal open to false here. And that should mostly fix it. Oops, it's already active. That's not correct. Um, because we need to pass uh, the props that I was expecting. So is open would be the first prop we pass. And with input is not something we really need to pass. So perfect. At this point, um, all we need is a button from React Native. And let's say, there we go. And if we press open, it's going to open up the modal. We have the close here, and it's going to close it. Just make that a little bit easier to see. Let's give it a class name, BG white with full, and padding of 4. And let's round that up to Excel. And there we go. We have our nice little modal. It's very easy to compose. You just literally pass whatever content you want inside, and it should work. Now, I have a few modules set up here, delete account and feedback. Let's bring those in and set those up to show you how simple it is. So, <clears throat> oops, let's import your feedback and let's import um, your delete count. Perfect. Now I have this model over here. I'm going to remove everything inside. And I'm going to pass my feedback. And it expects one thing, which would be on close, if I'm not mistaken, which um, was it not on close it expects? Um, I think it expects close modal. This is going to be whatever you really set it up to be. <clears throat> Let's update these buttons to be a bit more specific. So open feedback. Um, let's be this um, is feedback open. Set is feedback open. Perfect. Let's do set is false and set this to is feedback open. Perfect. 
we can give this model an ID just for easier understanding of what's going on, just to know what we're looking at. And same as this, we can set up another model right here. Call it delete. Inside, we can pass delete account with set feedback open, but we're actually going to um, create copy another one is delete open set is delete open and is delete open perfect at this point we have both of them set up <clears throat> let's copy this button down to say open modal feedback and set this to open modal delete change this to set is delete open and we have open modal feedback there we go. Oh, that's the wrong button color. My bad. And we have open model delete. Perfect. Now, one thing to note is if I press this, um, actually, I got to set up the keyboard to use. Oh, that's weird. I thought it didn't set it up. It should be using the default keyboard from the simulator, but it's not for some reason. Let me try this. There we go. But as you can see, if I press the keyboard, it shows up on top of this. Generally, if you have a model without input, this should be fine. But because this models need the input, you can just pass the width input prop inside for both of them. Perfect. And if you press this and select the input, it's going to get moved up. So you have room to press whatever you want. Right, whatever you want, really, what I mean. But yeah, that's really pretty much it. You can re replace this with whatever you want and it should work fine. And this should work without any issue on Android as well. But yeah, thanks for watching. If you have any feedback or any other videos you guys want to watch from me, just let me know. Thank you, everyone.